What is up the world of the living? My name is Lyxp and welcome back to Truly Bedrock. My friends, I do believe that I found myself my new favorite spot on the entire base of mine. Look at this, right on the nose of this sunken lava ship. Not only is it an in incredibly thrilling experience <laughs> to be standing so close to lava on a ship that is even in story currently being sunk in it, but at the same time, it offers a pretty good view on uh, the other remnants of other ships, on my pirate ship itself, and on the base surrounding it. So yeah, welcome to TV. This is metal. I love it. But uh, that's not where we'll be spending my time today. We will be spending it more around, you know, these parts. And these parts, ooh, I have a lot to say about these parts lately. So, you can notice that the base has been uh, coming alive more and more and more. We've, we added last episode this uh, bone ship being assembled, these bones being gathered, these bones being lugged, and uh, these walls we added during a live stream over on twitch.tv slash zloyxp self plug yada yada. Go follow me. But, here's the trick. No matter how much detail, no matter how many more buildings we add, it always feels like this place is lacking a little bit of life, and I couldn't tell you why until very, very recently. Now, I think I figured out exactly why I feel that way, and the reason turned out to be that, well, it's a town, but it's a ghost town. There's very little animation to it outside of the, you know, smokestacks. There's very little people walking around because that's just me. And, uh, I mean, I know exactly why there's very little people around. Whatever mob or whatever animal or whatever anything I could bring here will get immediately blown up by gusts. And uh, that's a little bit inconvenient. While at the same time, my go-to and actually my idea for this base along other things was to maybe bring a villager down here. And to maybe set up a few villagers uh, just, you know, to trade with. Like, sure, yeah, they will spend like 10 minutes per day in bed because the nether does actually have a night and day cycle, you just can't see it. But turns out, that's not necessarily an option. Because, my friends, in better condition, there's an issue, there is a bug where if you are in the nether and if you have a village, every single time that village is unloaded and unloaded, the village is gets restored in the memory. It's like creating a new village. Expanding the size of the file for the better condition world over and over and over and over again. And villagers, they take a lot of memory space to out. And if you know better condition, you know that at one point, your if your world is too big, memory-wise, it just ain't gonna run on a server. So we're a little bit stuck and a little bit stumped. Or at least we were until I realized that we have a couple of data packs that will definitely help us out. Okay, two things that you gotta know about True Bedrock, and you really, really gotta know, especially if you are yourself a Bedrock Edition player. We have custom data packs by Foxy Hotel and Dan Rob's Prob, and the custom data packs that we have are one, we can make armor stands invisible, we can make them upside down, we can make them uh, have no gravity, we can make baby armor stands. We have armor stand posing data pack, uh, not data pack, uh, resource pack, whatever, that they created. And then we have an add-on for custom heads. And the custom heads we have are very different from the Java ones, because they are actually entities. And they have their own models and they have their own 3D things. Which means that we can do this. This is a our, um, weaponsmith villager head. And you can tell it has an eye patch, making it that much more cooler. And then we have, naturally, armor stands, uh, not ar ar armorer, armorer villager head. We got other people like a Fletcher, for example. And of course we have the bo the boring, uh, what should we call it, the regular guy, and a cleric. And all of them, except for the regular guy, you can tell, have their own accessories. Meaning that we can make at least five different crewmates around here on, the, on board of Mara the ship. This is 
pretty flipping lit. This is pretty flipping cash money, if you ask me. And I am willing to capitalize on that. But before we even begin, I have to just quick disclaimer you. I will not be building any armor stands on the outside of the ship. <laughs> because even if ghasts don't spawn on Mara herself, they still spawn around her and they will still sometimes fireball, you know, some of it. They haven't fireballed the steering wheel yet, which is like, I, I, I live in fear of the moment when they do. But other than that, they might blow up the armor stand. So we will not be walking in the open, but luckily we have plenty of interiors to vital vitalize using our new armor stand and head add-ons. Also, this is pretty horrifying thing to, you know, come back to. Okay, we got the armor stand, we got the name tags named Grum to turn them upside down. We got a piston to push them once we, uh, you know, make them non-gravity with slime balls. We got the golden carrots to make them invisible. We got the leather from the Hoglin farm, which I, I remind you we have. We got the heads, we got the moves. One thing we don't have is, frankly, the patience. <laughs> frankly? I ain't got the patience for any of this, which is specifically why I turned off the game sounds, because, you know, I cannot just turn off the gust sounds. And there's a lot of that going on right now, because we have a gust trapped nearby. Anyway, with that being said, let's give this a go, and let's give this a go in the best way we can. I want to start with this eye-patched fella, and that's because I actually already have an idea of what to do for him. I mean, okay, well, that's not right. <laughs> Let's see, uh, move you up a little, destroy the sugar box, get the ammo stand, and now I can summon it. Uh, hey, remember how I told you that I don't have the patience right now? Yeah, this is the stuff I was talking about. Okay, wow me. Well, I mean, this is almost what I tried to do. <laughs> Except entirely not. Oh, come on! This actually does open up a possibility for a free-headed villager. A witherlager, if you will. I mean, alternatively, we can just do this. Hey! And it actually fits perfectly. Great. We now have a fella. A fella who is, uh, yeah, mighty standing there. So, he's the trick. I wanted to instantly give him a little bit of a grey outfit, just, you know, for no good reason, just to make it look fancy. And this is not how you paint things in better condition, because of flipping course. Called drone, put in some water, put in some grey dye. Now you can see... Hop loop, hop loop. And there we have him. No pants, but looking pretty flipping snazzy, if you ask me. Okay, now here's a trick, and here's a trick that I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, for one, I want to repaint this b pure blackness. Is it pure blackness? I don't know, probably not. But I want to grab another leather tunic, and would you look at that, it really is bl blackish, blackerish. A little bit. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And what I want to do is I want to put another one of those right on top of this fella and put an armor stand on top of it, which will later move around also. Now, the way I want to put an armor stand on top of it is um, something along the lines of... Oh, come on. There we go. And now I want to put a tunic on it and put this thing upside down. Now, using a slime ball will make it, you know, non-gravitable. I cannot come up with a proper name for this, like, just sue me. And now what I want to do is I want to progressively push it lower right into this fella's skull. And you'll be like, Zloy, why? <laughs> Why are you so cruel? This is not gonna look pretty. What's, what's your deal? Is everything alright at home? And, 
Yeah, everything's fine at home, don't worry, thank you for asking, but uh, trust me, I do have a point with this. I just don't know if I'm actually gonna accomplish it. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Okay, I might have went a little bit overboard <laughs> with trying to accomplish something here. Uh, at least one of those double slaps should have been just a single slab. I, I messed up. I messed up so bad. But you can actually already see where I was going with it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this and cry. If I take out the lower one and if I make invisible the upper... See? Are you seeing? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? This now kind of looks like a pirate hat. Look at that. Look at that. I'm, I'm wearing a pirate hat and more so. Now that I look at it, now that I think about it. Yeah, this is not exactly what I was trying to accomplish, but uh, it's pretty close. It's pretty close, honestly. You can kind of buy that this is a hat if you really, really look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that! We got a pirate! We got a pirate magma cube! It's not exactly not what I was trying to do here, but um, still though. Pretty solid work. And now I realize that I have, I'm running on a very limited supply of water. Oh no. Oh no, I won't be able to dye every, every tunic I want to. Uh, I guess... The rest of the pirates are gonna have to wear the poop brown. Then again, we do have like 9 infinite supply of gold, so it's fine. This is actually pretty solid. I, I want one of those. I want one of those. And you know what? I want one of those at the wheel. Oh no, it's gonna be blown up. It's gonna get blown up by the gusts. But at the same time, I mean, it's at the wheel. Logic dictates that... Uh, if the wheel hasn't been blown up, then maybe the captain would want... <sighs> okay. Art demands sacrifices. We're sacrificing all the brain cells to it. Okay, the wheel got blown up before I even began construction. I give up, we are not doing this. But we will put together the captain himself. And I think it would be the best place for him somewhere in here. Wouldn't it? So this is not necessarily brain surgery? But it sure feels like it's brain surgery. Oh no, the hat took my, my slab. Don't take my slab, hat. That's not what hats do. All right. Eh. Ooh. Nearly. Nearly exactly what I want. Ah, the power. The power, my friends. It's almost too much. Okay, now to do just, per we're doing this perfectly, we're doing this perfectly, we're doing this. I open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this, but for like a split second. So, open close. <gasps> that was the perfect execution. And it looks horrible. It looks like it's a wig. <laughs> oh my God, I just realized something. That's the tunic. What if we give it a hat? Will it look like a beard? Oh no! Can we make a beard? I'm just gonna make this one yellow because I can? Well, it doesn't look like a beard, I'll tell you that. But it does look like some sort of a jacket. And hey, we can still put a hat on him also! That is way cool. That is much cooler than what I thought it would be. Actually, yeah, we can even manipulate the... We can, we can change the pose on the armor stand to the top down, changing this... There's so much versatility in it. There's way more versatility in it. Like, don't get me wrong. The armor stand book uh, com uh, data pack for Java is way more versatile. But this... This is a lot we can do, uh, all at once, with just two armor stands and a little bit of ingenuity. And of course, you know, a villager head. Let's not, let's not forget the brains of the operation. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm currently actually sad to a degree. And you know why? 
Because I think I blew my load. This is the best. We're not gonna we're not gonna get any better. I won't be able to top this in this episode. <laughs> oh, let's make this fella do something interesting with his hands. Nope, 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 nope. No, I, I think just him be like laying one hand on a, on a desk is as good as it's gonna be. And hey, if we give him, if he, if we give him the, the pants, we can make him have bunny ears. <laughs> Um, that might have been a mistake. I cannot get my pants back. <laughs> okay, this guy is really unlucky with his one. Uh, with his coat. Anyway, up. Up. Half, half slab in it doesn't work either. Double slab. And now it's a little bit too deep. Ah, so unfortunate. I guess you're not getting your proper coat, buddy. I'm sorry about that. On the other hand... On the other hand, we still can make that invisible. And I just love this little scene that they're having. Because <laughs> you can tell they're arguing. And you can probably tell that they're arguing about who has a better hat. <laughs> this eye patched fella. By the way, I gave him a magma cube as a, as a pet. You know how pirates have like parrots on their, on their shoulder. This one has a magma cube. And this guy's like... You don't even have a proper hat. My one's proper hat. You have. You just put a tunic on your head. So yeah, they're they're having a little a little bit of a dispute over the leadership. Now there are actually more things that I wanted to try with this, and one of those things is giving a person a beard, and it might be a little bit above my pay grade after all. Let's see. Okay, I'm currently suffocating. I'm sorry. This is hilarious. But at the same time, this could work if just we nudge it a little bit. See? The guy gets nudged and you kind of buy that this is a beard. The issue is that for this to work, the ammo stand has to be a little bit lower than the rest of the villager head. So that's a, uh, that's a brain twister because you have to push it kind of into the floor and then you will have to put more armor stands all over the place just to fit it. Just, you know, basically make it around it. How to make this uh, in a way that it works without the armor stand going to the floor, I frankly do not know. Although, baby armor stands exist. Baby armor stand exists. And having a baby armor stand would probably solve this because they are shorter. Oh no, but I don't have any spider eyes around. Mm, that's the one thing I, I can't get into nether. I mean, I have plenty of leather and I mean, I do need to go and stockpile on water buckets, I suppose. So we could go and take a short trip. You know what? Let's do a short trip back to the overworld. Let, <coughs> let's grab a stack of spider eye from our base in the mesa. We have like three spawners down there. It's kind of ridiculous. Ooh, yeah, we have plenty of stuff available. I don't think anyone's gonna miss it if I steal a stack. If anything, I feel a stack is gonna be absolutely, like, entirely too much. While I'm here, I just wanna have this on camera. Liara gathered a lot of really good villagers for us for our training hall project, and uh, she thought that it's my turn to get us some villagers. Unfortunately, I had an Uno reverse card in form of like a lot of materials I gathered specifically to help her assemble the nether hub. So, uh, um, no, I'm sorry. I did actually promise that I, I would take care of the villagers, but uh, I just... So don't have the energy nor patience nor, you know, willpower to deal with that right now. So while we're here, let's give it a go. Why don't we? It's got, it goes shulker box, head, raise it a little, blop blop, and make it a teeny tiny. Give it a hat. R nope, that's not, not how you, nope, there we go. And instantly realize that you put the armor stand backwards. How about now? Teeny tiny leather cap. Break this. Ooh, and it's entirely too low. 
But if we half slab it, it's, it's, it's too tall. Oh, really with this. Yeah, just making it small is not necessarily helping whatsoever. But, uh, you know, we can give it a go. We can give it a try at the very, very, very least. And hey, if we ever want a tiny backwards cleric villager, this is certainly the ticket. <laughs> I will have to experiment with this, like, way more, because, yeah. Armor stands, better condition, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot to unravel, there's a lot to unpack, there's a lot to do. I'll have to dedicate, like, a whole stream to it, but you know what? In the meantime, I'm just curious. I'm just really, really curious. For one, the tree farm is nearly done, so thank you, Silent, thank you, Grua. But in the meantime, I'm wondering what profit or lack thereof has Alice been bringing up. And hey, look, Pral got rid of his grave, so that's really good. Kind of, not at all. I've been looking forward to it. Did he buy me out, though? That's the question. That's what I was looking for, forward to, like, to his retaliation or lack thereof. The, I, the, I don't know what this is. <laughs> anyway, let's check out the profits and the stocks. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's, um, that, that's a hood. That's a hood. Let's see, we're out of oak. We're still a little bit fine on the spruce. There's... Four entire shulker box of it. Holy cannoli, this is actually pretty solid. People have not been buying out Dark Oak whatsoever, so I'm guessing Prowl never actually made it here. But the Warped and the Crimson are in a very sorry state. Blackstone and uh, Basalt and regular stone, though, not so much. People just don't want to buy stuff that they can probably just have as themselves. That's a little bit... That's a little bit upsetting. But other than that... Hey, we by now have basically a whole stack of diamond blocks and another 62 diamonds. And I'm, I'm calling that a win. Alice, you did great. And please keep doing the great because, girl, you are absolutely... You're in for a treat after we get the ship itself assembled. And of course, the stock for the storage of it. This, this baby down here, the old store... Oh, it's gonna get upgraded so hard. But anyway, I'm feeling that this is gonna be it for today's episode. I actually have quite a bit of materials to collect over here in the overworld. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Your ideas for more crew members you can add in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like to the video to help out the channel. Really appreciate you watching. Really appreciate you helping. It's been an amazing ride with Truly Bedrock. And I'm so, so happy for all the amazing things we're about to make. To be continued, have a good one, bye bye.